Hey y'all, this is Les and Dan back under the barn. It's been about two hours. I would say it's a pretty good bet. We got a queen and a new hive. It's fabulous, y'all. Now tomorrow we will come and plug the entrance with probably a t-shirt or something like that and then move the hive. I think we may put it uh, maybe behind the barn on the southeast side. The other hive is on the northwest side. Um, so that's our plan for right now. Shoo-wee! Happy Good Friday, y'all. Dan and Les from Scratch Made Homestead. Peace and love. Like, share, subscribe, and I know we're going to get lots of comments about our setup here, but it's just how we did it. I had to figure it out as we went along. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Peace. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Well, it's almost 9 o'clock. The uh, bees are pretty much gone inside the box. No activity. So we've got this cheesecloth here, and I'm going to stuff the, the entrance to the hive um, up and close the box up for the night. So in the morning, we'll be able to take the hive down and move it to where we want it to be, and then uh, we'll let them orient inside the box for a few days, and then we'll open the hive back up. So. Here goes. Y'all, this has been a absolutely amazing experience to watch Danny do all these different steps and learning as we go along. Wow, and the bees cooperated really well today. We're for the few that's <laughs> well, okay, sorry I laughed at that, but <laughs> um, you know, it is what it is. But we finally got them and can you hear them up there? Yes. That's a good sign. I'll try to see if I can get them. There's little traces of wax where they had started building out cone. I think they're just trying to clean up what they had left there. I hope y'all can see those few. They're right there. Now there's some beads left right in here. Yeah, there's just a few. And there's a few right in here. They're not going to be able to push it out or anything, so there's no real need to, like, shove it up in there thick, but just to cover the hole itself. And the opening is probably 8 inches, which is about the width of the, the box. All right, so we've got the uh, cheesecloth stuff up in there. No way they're getting out. So tomorrow morning, I'll take them down. We'll move them back, put them wherever we're going to put them. Yeah, I, we're going back and forth whether we should put them away from the original hive or by the original hive, or not original, but the first hives that we had down on the bee yard. Um, so we're just trying to figure this out, and we'll discuss it more tonight. and figure out where we want to put them.
So thank you all for coming along. This is Dan and Les from Scratch Made Homestead. I hope you can hear it from the generator. Yeah, we had to have the Jenny so we could have the light to be able to do it. So I hope you can hear it. So, buzz, buzz. Oh, let me see. A oh. baby girl. Oh, she flew away. Something like that. Or did that. you drop her? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless their hearts. We love our bee girls, and we try really hard to take good care of them. And, you know, it just is what it is. When they sting, they die. Here's another one. Let me see. Oh, that one's gone, too. <laughs> All right, well, we won't try that again, y'all. I know it's kind of dizzying. So. Happy Easter to y'all. We hope y'all have a great weekend. This is Dan and Les. Bye. Like, share, subscribe, and I know y'all gonna comment. <laughs> Let us have it, y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye.